it's Ruby from the Useful Journal. I am doing a review of the Pink Mackerel Journal today. I have a website called theusefuljournal.com and I do reviews of journals that are used for bullet journaling. I set up my website because I wanted to have a place where you could get all the information you needed in one spot including all the links to everyone else's reviews about the journal if there are any so that you can find everything you need in one spot. When I started journaling I saw all these amazing reviews for Tekiko 160GSM dot grid notebooks and started looking for them and couldn't get them anywhere they just weren't available anymore it was two years ago since then I haven't seen them really come back so I assume they're not making them anymore uh, I ended up buying the Techicore 100 GSM journal and I loved it the pink mackerel journal is actually made by Techicore it's very hard to find information on Techicore they have a shop front in the US called Kudut. Kudut do all the communications for TechiCore. Well, they're owned by, and I'm probably saying this wrong and I apologize, but Nul, Nul Hayati Safar. And that is a Malaysian name, so I suspect, and TechiCore is a Malaysian name as well, so I suspect it's a Malaysian company. I don't know why they hide that. Like, I don't understand why you would hide what country you're from. Um, really hard to find any information about the company at all and there seem to be several layers of um, shop fronts for the company. That said, if you do contact them via Kudut, they are very quick to get back to you. Um, so there's no problem with the service. I just, I just don't understand the reason for the subterfuge. one of the cheapest 160 GSM journals you can get. Um, it's valued at, well, when I bought it from Amazon at this year in 2021, it cost 10 cents per page. It only comes in two different designs. Um, and this one is the, the tealy, purpley one, and then there's a pink one. Um, both of them have the flowers. I'm not crazy about the flower design and I think when I start using this journal I will probably cover it. Um, it's just not really my, my thing. It's not especially thick for a 192 page journal uh, that has 160 GSM paper. It's 25 millimeters thick and it weighs nearly 600 grams, about 580 grams. Uh, it has a pen loop back. It has three ribbons, uh, which are a very good length, um, and they haven't frayed at all, and they feel like they won't. It has a pocket in the rear, and it has an elastic to keep it closed. the journal it came shrink wrapped and in this light oh it's sorry it's probably a medium to heavyweight card cover um, it was shrink wrapped and then um, once you pull it out it had a belly band around it in paper uh, that was the only packaging Now I should note at this point that I haven't used this journal yet. I will come back once I've used it and add some more details later. Um, so when we open the journal, it has blank inside cover and it goes straight into your dot pages and there's no return to owner page, there's no index, anything like that. Um, it does have page numbering and it's below the dot grid. There are 27 by 
39 dots on each page and the dot alignment is good. Um, I've gone through quite a lot of the journal and it never varies more than a millimetre across the page so that's a really good result. It, the journal sits flat after you press it down so you'll see it kind of flicks up a little bit but you can just press it down and it'll stay so it's very easy to work with. Um, I wanted to talk about the paper. So the paper is from a company called Takeo in Japan and this company has an environment policy. Well, I've worked a lot with policy in, in, in my career and Takeo's policy is a bit vague and doesn't have any real targets and it hasn't been revised since 2007 and as everyone I'm sure is aware our knowledge of and what we do with the environment and and sustainability has changed a lot in the last 14 years so I'm surprised they haven't updated it since 2007 but as I said they don't have any real targets they do have green aid products um, but these this pink mackerel journal is not a green aid pr product so I suspect that this journal is not quite up to the standard of some of other Takeo's recycled or like green products. Um, the paper is FSC certified so um, that means that it's come from the paper has been sourced from sustainable forests and that's good. Uh, and Kadoot told me that the box cover is made from recycled material. So that's a big plus as well. So at least they're doing something. Now, once we go into the journal and we look through the paper, we get to my pen test. So excellent results for ghosting and bleed. There's none of either. And with the Sharpie pen, which is the alcohol-based pen, very faint ghosting from that. So, um, so the Sharpie pen, even the Sharpie pen, which is an alcohol-based pen, very faint ghosting from that. Um, everything else, there's no no bleed or ghost at all. I do a test where I highlight before using a micron marker and then I do a test where I highlight after a micron marker and there's no smudging at all if you highlight first and there's very faint smudging if you highlight uh, and that was 10 seconds after if you highlight after writing with the micron there's very light smudging the dot darkness is pretty average I'd say it's on the slightly on the lighter side of average um, so I gave that a score of three out of five. Um, the drying time is actually really good in this journal. It only took about eight seconds after writing with a micron pen to not really to not get a smudge when you ran your finger over it. That's a really good result. Paper is white um, and for that reason most of the white outs and white pens like the jelly roll pen will cover up your work. It's fairly visible. Um, I, I, for some strange reason I find that these pens and whiteouts work better on ivory paper than on white paper. Um, it's reasonably good results rubbing out. There's a little bit of a shadow left behind. Um, worked really well with fountain pen. Uh, there's no feathering from a fountain pen and it was the paper is really smooth so it's a pleasant experience to write on it with a fountain pen. Totally, I would totally recommend this for fountain pen use. It was fine. Um, all my coloured pencils and markers had good results. Um, I didn't actually, so I use, I do an ink stamp um, and this is one of the few journals I've got where the ink stamp hasn't bled through. That, that ink for some reason bleeds a bit but not so bad on this one. It's very, 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 very pale ghosting. Uh, finally, with the pen test, I do a watercolour test. And I actually contemplated using this journal for the rest of this year for my Bujo. And 
my bullet journal and ended up using another journal instead because I didn't like how watercolour behaved on the paper. It looks okay, but what I was really disappointed about was that you do actually get bleed through from the watercolour. And I didn't put on excessive amounts of water. I tried to do a representation of wet on wet. Um, and so I used a bit of water, but I wasn't super heavy. And you can see just a little bit of shadow on the back which is the colour has actually bled through to the other side. Um, it was only a light colour so it hasn't done too badly but I, I was just concerned. I love using watercolour in my journals and while these journals aren't designed for watercolour I go for ones that have slightly better results than that. I would be super happy to use this journal if I was markers like Tombow's um, or micron pens or like any of these other markers I've tested here, mild liners, Posca, any of those, I'd be very happy to use this journal because the results are excellent. Uh, overall, this is great value. Considering how cheap this journal is, what you get for that money compared to what you pay for some of the other 160 GSM journals, you're getting a lot. Like this is a good quality journal. Um, it's yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I'll be interested. The only thing I can't comment on is its durability, how it copes to constant use over a period of time. So that's something I'll have to come back and talk about later. And the other thing will be just being able to show you work I've done in it and how it performs but the pen test was good it it seems like a nice journal so yeah I just wish the company was a little less secretive about where they're from other than that it's a great journal and if you're after a cheaper option it's worth a try if the cover design is an issue for you just cover it <laughs> it's always that option uh, I hope you found this useful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.